Okay, let's review your inventory once more. Why do you have all that stuff? Um, okay, I guess if we're just passing the time while we walk. I mean, obviously, we know why we have this skull, because you won't freaking let me forget. We got this package from Four Arbory, from that wizard guy. I, of course, have my 581 coins. I really should have gotten a thousand. What was I thinking? Or at least 700. I got my pot of flour, which... I don't know, I mean, I started out with a pot, so of course I'm gonna need it eventually. Um, I got my four beads, got this sword, this shield, this amulet of ghost speak still. Got the five onions. I don't know, I, I guess I better store those, shouldn't I? Got this helmet the, and this wizard hat, I'm, I guess I don't need those. Um, I got this mind talisman that one of the gnomes dropped, er, no, imps dropped. Uh, the red berries and the, the lobster cage I purchased, this white apron that I guess I don't need anymore, and this key to the treasure chest, so, you know, I mean, I, I, I guess I can get rid of most of this stuff, just so that it's easier to run around. While you're here in Falador, you might as well visit the mines. There are people down there who mine iron ore. It sells high, but they just drop it. Huh. That's interesting. I mean, if it sells high, I, I don't think that I've got that much money right now. I mean, I only had like 25 cents in my bank account here, so... You know, yeah, I, I guess I'll just drop most of this stuff off and then head on down to the mines. I, if they're just gonna drop their stuff, I'm not even gonna bring my pickaxe. I mean, why would I? Alright, so might as well keep one coin on me, by the way. I mean, why not? I mean, if it's just like a penny, then I'll just drop it if I find something else that I want more. Boy, look at these guys. Look how well-dressed these guys are. So, question. If Iron War is worth so much, why do players just drop it on the ground? I'm confused. It's quick mining experience. If you world jump enough, you may find someone willing to just give it away. Huh. Okay. There's another scorpion, and a lot of scorpions down here. <laughs> that guy's name is Pooper P. <laughs> oh crap, I'm getting attacked! Ah, oh, jeez! Ah, oh, jeez! Okay, I did three damage, that wasn't so bad. Oh wait, maybe it was four damage. Uh, run, dude. Oh yeah, he's right. I guess I better switch worlds here. Uh, uh... Let's see. There we go. Wait, what... What the heck just happened? Uh, Saradamin? Time just flashed forward on me. Did you do that? Okay, well, Poop or P here apparently just traded with me. Yeah, thanks, dude. Thanks very much. Ah, freaking scorpions! Didn't tell- <sighs> Saradamin, you did not tell me there would be this many scorpions down here trying to kill me! Alright, well, I don't know if I should be running with all this ore. I better just walk for now. Well, so, I guess let me go ahead and recap now that my brain suddenly flashed forward. I don't know, am I getting strokes or something? So, apparently, I tried to planeswalk. Um, you know, I went to that world switching thing because apparently I'm able to teleport and I'm, apparently there are a bunch of different realities, as old Sarah the Men said. And so I just switched a couple of realities, looked to see if anybody was dropping coal. And uh, ironically, it turned out that old Pooper P was the person who was giving out free iron ores because, like Sarah the Men said, he wanted to, uh, you know. He wanted to just train on it, but I'm kind of afraid to go back into that mine right now because I'm only at five hit points. Plus that guy, he, he probably needs a little time to mine more of his iron ore, so I guess while I wait, uh, I'll check out this garden here. I don't know, why not? I mean, it's a nice place to go. Uh, look at how pretty these flowers are. There's a pond over there. It's nice to, uh, observe nature without fear of being stabbed by a stinger or being bitten by a snake. Oh, hey, there's a gardener. Hey, buddy. I'm the head gardener around here. If you're looking for woad leaves, if you need help with it, I'm your man. Uh, okay. Yeah, yes, please, I need woad leaves. How much are you willing to pay? Uh, sure, I guess I just pulled out 20 coins, but, uh, I'm getting rid of them. Okay, that's more than fair. Here's half two. You're a generous person. Thanks! Okay, so... Yeah, I mean, I, I pulled out the coins because I figured in retrospect I, I shouldn't go anywhere without having money on me, but it was kind of dumb to only have, like, one cent with me, so I figured, eh, I'll just bring, like, 25 cents, I don't know. Huh. Hey, Sarah the Men! I thought you'd be bigger than that! Ow. Ah, oh, jeez. I think I just got transitioned to Flash Forward again. 
Hey, Pooper P. Uh, yeah, thanks. Thank you. Uh, and he still has some on the ground. Thanks again, man. No, seriously, I appreciate it. Man, these flash forwards and times making my nose bleed. Last load, because I have to go. Oh, okay. Yeah, I understand that. Things to do, places to be. Okay, so here I am in the Falador Palace. I noticed there was a quest point here. Hello, I'm a squire to Sir Vivian. And how is the life of a squire? Well, Sir Vivian is a good guy to work for. However, I'm in a spot of trouble today. I've gone and lost Sir Vivian's sword. Uh, okay. I, uh, I guess, is he angry? He doesn't know yet. I was hoping I could think of something to do before he finds out, but I find myself at a loss. Uh, okay. Well, uh, let's see, what should I say to him? I guess I'll ask if he has a vague idea. Well, do you have a vague area of where you lost it in? No, I was carrying it for him all the way from where he had stored it in Lumbridge. It must have slipped from my pack during the trip, and you know what people are like these days. Someone will have just picked it up and kept it for themselves. Um, should I offer to make a new sword? Yeah. I can make a new sword if you like. Thanks for the offer. I'd be surprised if you could, though. This thing is a family heirloom. It's been passed down through Vivian's family for five generations. It was originally made by the Encanto Dwarves, a particularly skilled tribe of the Dwarven Smiths. I doubt anyone could make it. Okay, so, you know, would there be dwarves that could make another one? I'm not 100% sure the Encanto tribe exists anymore. I should think Rildo, the palace librarian and Verok would know. He has done a lot of research of the races of RuneScape. I don't suppose you could try and track down the Encanto Dwarves for me. I've got so much work to do. Um, yeah, I'll give it a go. Why not? Thank you very much. As I say, it's best to start through with Rildo. PFN, that squire said Varok. You know, the place where you're supposed to be delivering Arbery's package and getting your treasure? Yeah, I know, but, like, I saw a quest point up here to the north and I'd never been here before, and I figured, you know, I might as well start another quest because, what the heck, maybe it'll have me traveling to another city, and I really don't like the prospect of backtracking. Oh, God, wouldn't you wear red armor? No, not red. Red armor make you look fat. Everything make you look fat. Shut up, fatty. SHUT UP! Even this human think you look fat, don't you, human? Uh... <laughs> you know what? Yeah, he does look fat. Yes, he does look fat! Ha <laughs> ha! See, fatty? Even human think you fat! Me not care what human think! Human ugly! Okay, I better quit dicking around. Um... So, why are you guys arguing about the color of your armor? We decide to celebrate Goblin New Century by changing color of our armor. Brown get boring after a bit. We want change! Problem is, they want different change to us! Uh, okay. So, do you want me to pick an armor color for you? Yes, as long as you pick green. No, you have to pick red! Um, yeah, this isn't gonna go anywhere. What about a different color, not green or red? That would mean me wrong, but at least what face not right? We don't know what that look like. Have you seen armor before we decide? Human, you bring us armor, new color! What color we try? Orange armor might be good. Yes, bring us orange armor. Okay. Saw another quest point here, dwarf named Doric. Hello, traveler, what brings you to my humble smithy? Um, I don't know. I guess, uh, I guess I want to use your anvils. My anvils get enough work on my own use. I make pickaxes and it takes a lot of hard work. If you could get me some more materials, I could let you use them. Um, sure. Yeah, I'll get you the materials. Clay is what I use more than anything to make casts. Can you get me six clay, four copper ore, and two iron ore, please? I can pay a little and let you use my anvils. Take this pickaxe, just in case you need it. Okay. Um, let's see. Where can I find those? You'll be able to find all those orders in the rocks just inside the dwarven mine. Head east from here, and you'll be at the entrance in the side of Ass Mountain. But I'm not good enough a miner to get iron ore. Oh well, you can practice mining until you can. Can't beat a bit of mining, it's a useful skill. Failing that, you might be able to find more experienced adventurers by the iron ore off of. I'm a god, and even I've lost track of how many quests you've started at this point. So, finally going to Varok, eh? You're the most distractible person I've seen in a while. I am not distractable. Ooh, look at that! Salmon! 
Salmon and trout just lying there on the ground, cooked in everything! Oh, hells yeah! Healing items, here I come! Okay, take the trout and the salmon and... Oh man, this was a nice catch. Jeez, I can't believe these guys just left this here! Is this often the case? Like, do people just leave stuff on the ground here in Barbarian Village? That was nice of them.